Hey guys, this is Wolf Hoffman on the Metal Voice, and here's the Metal Heart. Let me show you this. It's amazing. The original <laughs> Metal Heart. Rock on. Ta-ta! Guys, a special episode of the Metal Voice with a recurring guest, the one and only guitar god, except great Wolf Hoffman. Wolf Hoffman, w welcome. Wolf. How's it going, guys? Not bad. From the Good. Metal Metropolis of Nashville, Tennessee, live. Where's your cowboy hat? Right, you got that right. <laughs> Straight from my man cave studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> so since so, since we spoke last, there's been a lot. You know, you had the tour for Stalingrad, and uh, we just wanted to go through uh, what's what's coming. Any writing of the new album? Anything out there happening? Yeah, we're in the middle of writing new material, and we've actually got quite a bit accomplished already, but it's still a long ways to go. Uh, you know, when you're in the middle of this, you, it's it's very hard to say, do you have enough? Do we, How much more do we need? So we just keep going until, you know, we got a pile of stuff, and then we play that to our producer, Andy Sneap, and actually we're going to be meeting with him here shortly. So, you know, we're going through this in several stages, but, you know, to, how about, how about you know, cover songs? Are you are you looking at any, doing any cover songs? Never really have done any cover songs. It, come, it keeps coming back up, and there's a few contenders of songs that we all like and that we grew up with, and we, sure, we keep sure. going. Should we do this? Shouldn't we? But so far, I don't think we've, we've ever felt 100 percent comfortable with anything. But we, you never know. Yeah. How about a TTT -T -T, uh, T quick TT quick cover song? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Something to think about, right? Absolutely. It's it's a long time since I'm a rebel. <laughs> All right. right. Yeah, actually, that's been the only non-accept written song we've ever recorded. Yeah. So. That would have been my guess. That's why I threw it out there. So. All right. All right. Okay, yeah, let's, get, let's get to a very important announcement. The fans of the fans. VH1 has voted Blood of the Nations by Accept the best hard rock and heavy metal comeback album of all time. How about that? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. You know what? I, I was mean, looking at the list. I think it's a great choice. That's who I would have voted for. Yeah. Well, thank you. But Appreciate that. I would have. But <laughs> <laughs> some guys at this other show decided that it wasn't going to be their top. But I'm glad yeah. the fans voted and set the record straight. So. So how does that make you feel, yeah. Wolf? How does thank that make you fans. feel? Thank you, fans, for that because <laughs> I mean, it's, this this these last three years have been nothing but a miracle story for us. So we definitely appreciate the fans voting that way and. We feel very honored, and, and I think it's it has been really an amazing comeback for us. So, and to, it, but all at the end of the day, it's always up to the fans to to make their vote and to have their say, you know. And uh, you know, we can always just do our best and do our our part, but at the end of the day, it's always about the fans. For me, it's a true comeback, right? Yeah, there yeah, was nothing yeah. since. Uh, it's been a while since the last ones, and and then you know everybody thought, okay, except finished. They had their run. You know, with some of these other bands, like Back in Black was considered, yeah, Bon Scott had died, but all the music was already written. They just brought in Brian Johnson. So for me, uh, you know, like Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers, that's another one I see as a real comeback album. But that's why I'm glad Blood of the Nations made it, because for me, that's a true comeback album. And not only that, but then you had Stalingrad, which right. brought it to the next level, right? I mean, so, it, you know, sometimes you have that first album, which is really strong, and then the, the next comeback album is not as strong. But in this case, you guys just, you know, keep pumping them out. Well, and in my mind, the best is yet to come because yeah. we're working on this third album, which is hopefully going to get it up one more notch. What's the you name? Know? Do you know what the name of the album is going to be called yet? No. Give us a scoop. Give us the scoop. <laughs> no, man. I don't Give us know some scoop. Can. Something nobody else has. We got a Andy <laughs> Sneep is going to be returning as producer, so Andy's back. That's great news. Andy is back, and everybody else is back. So the same same people working on it, and same same ideas. We just don't want to change the whole lot. We just want to crank out new tunes that sound totally like, except totally old school, but with new ideas. And I'll, you know, what you know, about same, what about this same. new DVD? So you're talk Is there? Are you are you in, in exceptology? Exceptology is this a new DVD coming out? Can you tell us anything about this? We don't know whether it's going to be a DVD, whether it's going to be a, in, in, in web uh, format only, or whether it's going to be even something printed. It, it really all, all depends on what the fans, uh, 
how much stuff we're going to collect and what the fans really submit. And yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not only fans, it's also people that we've worked with. And we've gotten some great photos, we've gotten some great old footage. Unfortunately, you know, the stuff from the 80s, there's not really a whole lot of live, as much footage as we were hoping there yeah, would be. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know, people didn't really have cell phones, obviously, then. They, they took, you know, no, but, you know, so there's some footage, but hopefully they, we'll, we'll come up with some more. Yeah. And with Stephen Kaufman, uh, Stefan Kaufman, uh, coordinating all this, uh, have, you, have you heard any word from Udo if he'd like to participate? I know you sent the word out that you would love that for happen. Have you heard anything from his camp? Not yet. Uh, I know he's touring out and uh, right now, so hopefully he'll contribute. And there's some, some other people. I mean, there, we touched so many people along the way, and we've been working with so many people along the way. And some of them have come yeah. forward and submitted stuff, but, you know, hopefully there's going to be some more. But so far, the reaction has been really, really great. We've gotten some good stuff from fans and, and, you know, a lot of other people that we've had contact with over the years. And we're just collecting. And Stefan is a big part of this. Yeah, yeah he's going to be sort of the mastermind behind all this. Well, Wolf, are you ever going to release a live CD of, you know, yeah. the old songs and the new songs, you know, uh, with your current band? Well, we're, we've recorded some current stuff this yeah. uh, this summer, actually. So there's going to be a DVD, a live DVD. And CD? it's in. CD? It's in the can. It's got some amazing footage. I've already already wow. seen some of it. Uh, it was filmed in um, in the Czech Republic at Masters of Rock and uh, also in South America in okay. Chile. So All we've right. got two great concerts that that sound amazing, look amazing. It's just now up to the label to decide when the best time is to release all this. Whether whether it's going to be released as a package with a new album or maybe independently just before. I don't know. It's up to them. Let's talk about your, your your another endeavor you started since we last spoke about the wine. Wine. Oh, well, that, yeah, the wine. <laughs> That's good stuff, man. Do you have any bottles in what, front of you what? there? No. Uh, I have some over in the other room. <laughs> okay. So what's it called, uh, Wolf? Uh, well, it's the, the German word for wolf's blood, which is Wolfsblut. Oh, I cool. Think. Yeah, it just sounded cool and, you know, red wine, blood, and I don't know, it's just, the yeah, idea came up and is this only sold, like it. Is this only sold in the United States or is it a, a, a worldwide uh, endeavor? Yeah, it was a little, it, it, well, it started like this. I, I got in touch with a, uh, germ, uh, with a um, California winemaker, mm -hmm. a company called Flora Springs that makes some amazing stuff. I knew them and... You know, we worked together on this first edition of the U.S. wine. Yeah, yeah. But then we realized it's it's hard for Europeans or people from Japan or anywhere to order this stuff if it just comes out of California. So right. we started a European version as well through another company over in Germany. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then we just recently hooked up with. A third company who's going to sort of take it over worldwide. So it's still in the in the developing process, but very soon we're going to come out with a great you know setup where everybody worldwide can order the same stuff. Good news. Can, can you make sure it comes to Canada? <laughs> yeah, please, if you, please. Yeah, if you order I've been it. waiting for it. I'm going to go to the liquor store every day trying to find some accept wine. I can't find any. Well, well I don't know. We got nothing here. Liquor store, but you know. Actually, <laughs> Talk to your people. And if, if all fails, you have to make it yourself. Moonshine. <laughs> That's right. How do we get your guitar? Yes, and, and NAM 2013, uh, Framus Guitars released the Wolf Hoffman Signature Guitar. Let's talk about that. That is a sweet baby, man. I should I should actually bring it and show it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Don't worry. We'll, 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 we'll be here. We'll be right back. right here. Pause the tape and I'll show it to you. <laughs> yes, please. Wolf will be right back. As After he goes to get his like signature that. guitar. Meanwhile, meanwhile, back at the Metal Voice Studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this edition of Metal Voice is brought to you by Wolfie White. Oh, and he's so back. Nice, nice, nice <laughs> he's back. Wow, look at that. Yes. Look at this beauty. Oh Check my gosh. Wow. Look how wow. nice it wow. shines in the light. <laughs> Look at this. It's got a, um, you know, this like metallic built. finish. It's actually paint, which wow. is the trippy part. Wow. It looks like aluminum. Wow. And it feels like aluminum, but if you can see closely there, it's just sort of painted wood wow. because the neck is not painted. And you can see the transition here really yeah. nice. It's maybe. Like a tank. Ooh. That's 
unbelievable. Wow. Check wow. this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> the 5V, of course. Look at that. No, you, Look at the nice little art. Only on here. the metal voice can you see such detail. Flying Fortress. Look at that. Look at that. Flying Only on the metal voice. And it resembles a World War II bomb, but bomber, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Look. Look at that. Yeah, but, but now, Wolf, now that you're showing it to us, we got to hear what it sounds like. Oh, he's well, it's not plugged in. He's not plugged in. He's not plugged in. That's I guess I could make it sound if I plug it in, but... No, no, that's hey, cool. This is not going to be like a yeah, yeah, yeah. online lesson or anything. But anyhow, there yeah. it is in all its beauty. I love it, man. It's gorgeous. And is it available? You've got some rivets. Regular wow. Yeah, I saw that. Rivets. Because yeah. metal are... There are lots of rivets in metal, that's why. Exactly. And can you... Is this available in North America as well? It is available through the German company, yeah, in Germany. It's going to come out at the summer, well, at the winter NAM next year. So okay. in about three, four months in LA, we're going to introduce the overseas model as well. It's okay, going to be good. a little more affordable. Good. And uh, because this one is still handmade in Germany and, wow. so, you know, so very expensive, but right. worth every penny in my mind. Oh, sure, yeah, sure, it's a sure, sharp looking sure, guitar sure. for sure. Now you got some tour dates coming up in November and December. You're heading over to Russia and uh, Europe? That's right. We're going to do some German dates. We're going to do some Russian dates. And hopefully, someday soon, we can do some North American dates yeah, as well. That's right. And so, your, your special guest and you're touring with uh, for one of the shows in Germany is it's Scorpions, I believe. That is actually a show in Finland. Wow. Finland, wow. I mentioned, yeah, this is, yeah, it's another world premiere after all these years, after being in the business for 30 years. This is going to be the first show yeah. ever of Accepted as Scorpions. Can you imagine? That's, that's incredible. So gr growing up in Germany, I would imagine they had a huge influence on you. Oh, they did. I mean, they've been our heroes. And, I mean, we grew up listening to them. And we always said, maybe one day we'll get a chance to play with them. We met them over the years many times. We said hello. We chatted. We, I mean, we're, you know, friends with them and all that. Sure. But, uh, we never had a chance to actually be on stage with them. But wow. now, finally, <laughs> finally, the German attack. Yeah, yeah all <laughs> these years are going to be together rocking with Rudolf here. And I love it. <laughs> so if he invites you out to play uh, Rocky Like a Hurricane, you're not going to say no, right? Oh, hell no. I'll be <laughs> worshipping it. The ground he walks on. I'll be or Lonesome Crow, something off the Lonesome Crow album. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about flying bees. There's, there's the one that's... Wolf, uh, Wolf, I got some questions from you from people all around the world. You ready? Yeah. Uh, yes. Short, quick answers. It's just so we can get as many questions as we can. Okay, I'll so, be short. <laughs> so John from Scotland uh, is, when is Accept going to play in the UK or in Ireland? Or we just Ireland? played UK. Oh, you did? Okay, Scott, I guess you missed where that. Where were you? We played <laughs> where, where were you, John? <laughs> three weeks ago at Bloodstock. Where were you? How about Ireland? Ireland? Well, yeah, well, I did, we didn't do Ireland. We can't go anywhere, yeah. everywhere, but we played the UK at least. Okay, a question from Greece, Anthony. Do yes. You, do you feel? Uh, do you feel that you are in competition with Udo? Do you no. Feel in competition with Udo? No competition here. We're just all good friends. Oh yeah, we just yeah. met Udo by the way. We just had a, an interview with him, and he had nothing but kind words for you. Excellent. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way we love it, and that's the way it's going to be from now on. All right, Thomas from Germany, from your hometown. Yeah. Will that you would be, be using, Thomas? Thomas. Will, will be, Thomas. Thomas. Will you be using the same stage layout? You know, stage layout, or will you be building a new stage layout this tour? We have a brand new stage set, which oh, is just oh, being in, it. introduced. This well, we had it on these two festival shows, but it's still brand new, so people really haven't seen it for the most part. It's amazing. Yes. Okay. So new okay. stage set. Yeah. Two more questions. Manuel says from Mexico. Yeah. When is the band going to Mexico? Are you going to Mexico? Yes, we will. All right. Yes, we will. We've been there once. Uh, I think it was about a year or two years ago, and it was great. South American fans are amazing, and Mexican fans in particular are crazy. Yeah. So, All right. Here's yes. the last Man, question. Help. Come and stay there. Last Thanks. question from Greg in England. He apologized for getting emotional at the Bloodstock signing tent. There was a guy. Oh, <laughs> this Greg he apologizes. <laughs> For being emotional and crying at a at Bloodstock when you were at the signing tent, I guess with him, and this guy just started crying and yeah, just choking up, and he was wearing a Metal Heart T-shirt, 
No, that's, that's, that's real men can get emotional. There's nothing wrong with that. Real men can show some tears, right? <laughs> you, you accept his apology? I don't, I don't know what the question is here. I don't know. He apologized. It's more like a statement. All good, brother. All it's good. All good. good. Do, you remember him? Do you remember him? It was just crying like a little baby. No, I was... In the presence of greatness, he broke down. That's right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. all the questions I got. Beautiful. Love it. So well, anything else coming exciting to accept that you want the world and all your fans uh, to know about? Now's the time. When, I mean, the big thing is the new album. So sure. it's not here yet, so I can't announce it. But, okay. you know, we're definitely working on it. So people stay tuned. And it's, you know, if all goes well, it's all coming out next year early i hope as soon as possible okay. and then we're gonna, gonna hit the road again so right now it's just a time to you know bow our heads down and get this thing out and working until we hit the road again so Beautiful. mark's passport is going to be full of stamps again oh yeah we were joking Absolutely. with him about that the the last time we interviewed him so all right well say hi to gabby say hi to peter and the rest of the yeah. band thank you very yeah. much Wolf. yeah thanks again for this you know voting for us on vh1 it's right. an amazing honor and definitely the comeback of the you know whatever of oh, the millennium a well-deserved honor for sure thank you very much guys so it was we'll great talking to you again like yeah. always <laughs>